just arrived to a fully involved structure fire here at a lumber yard on South Fraser Way in Abbotsford. Flames were uh, uh, quite a ways in the air, and uh, the firebrands were being taken across to the south or to the sorry the northeast, and, and impacting the grass median in the, in the Highway One. How hot was it when you got here? Uh, yeah, really hot. Uh, this is dried lumber is their practice here, and so with the dry conditions and the fire it was well established when we got called, even though it's a midday fire. And how hard of a fire is this to fight? Uh, it's grueling, especially with the temperatures in around 30 degrees here today, and our, we're cycling our guys through the rehab. All of our crews are on scene here today, with the exception of one engine company, or actually two engine companies within the city, and we put a couple of our mutual aid partners on notification as well. And I was seeing firefighters with red faces and like sunburned faces. Is that kind of the heat? Well, actually, what it is is just the exertion of, of the, um, the body sweat and, and the hotness of the whole day. I, I wouldn't say it's a sunburn because they're wearing self-contained breathing apparatuses if they're that close. And there's a lot of explosions. What were those? Yeah, we have evidence that there was some propane uh, cylinders that uh, were, had uh, exploded. Not sure if they were uh, just uh, spares or fork off forklifts. Just don't have that information at this time. And what's going to happen now? Well, the crews will be here for several hours, making sure that it's uh, totally out. We're making sure that the fire along the median and on the side of the highway is done so we can reopen the highway when it's safe to do so for the public. Would you say this was a really good job by the crews to contain this blaze? Well, certainly uh, we have uh, exposures on either side. Uh, the, a Petro uh, card lock uh, a company here uh, to the east and uh, RV uh, uh, storage yard to the west and we've been able to contain it within the property that the fire originated and also been able to save a couple of buildings that are within that property as well, which is remarkable considering the amount of combustible materials that are there.